This is the most flavorful pasta I've ever made. I'm seriously telling you it's to die for. Today we're not gonna be in a hurry at all. Just vibe out, relax. Why are you mad? Whenever I'm making a heavier pasta, I like to use a lean cut of meat. And in this case, we're just using some chicken tenderloins. This is like the bottom attachment piece of the chicken breast. And I prefer it so much over the rib meat. I'm just gonna lightly spray it with a little avocado oil. I'm gonna simply start by using my favorite Cajun seasoning, the spicy slap your mama. And as you already know, I like to get as generous as it can get. We're gonna put on our trusty gloves and give these a nice little toss. And obviously if you'd like, you could remove these tendons, but I'm too lazy and if my pasta don't crunch, I don't wanna eat lunch. It's just not that deep to me. This pan is set on a medium high. I'm just gonna toss in the chicken. For now, we're gonna, <coughs> oh my gosh. For now, we're gonna simply cook them <coughs> seven, for now, we're gonna cook them. <coughs> oh my goodness. For now, we're gonna simply cook them about 75% of the way. You don't wanna touch them until they start getting crusty on the sides like you. And then when they lightly peel off, they should be beautiful. And don't come back here telling me the chicken was dry. That means you simply overcooked it. And to be extremely technical, I'm gonna pull the chicken out at around 155. Yes, they're still slightly raw on the inside, but trust me, you're gonna see why later. Don't wash your pan and set it to a side. This is where all the fun begins. It's time to introduce some major flavor. You can easily hand chop all the ingredients I'm about to use. But today's theme is lazy, and I'm starting off with a red bell pepper, some white onion, a handful of heartburn, as much jalapeno as you want it to be spicy, a cute little shallot. I'm adding a roasted red bell pepper just for the fact that I can't find Calibrian chilies. And to finish, we do some sun-dried tomatoes. I'm telling you, you could easily use a knife to chop up all these ingredients, but look how easy this is gonna be. This is not a paste or a spread, so go nice and slow and just rough chop them. Scrape down the sides a couple times. This consistency is what I'm looking for. So the chicken is cooked and the vegetables are prepped. This is a perfect time to start cooking your pasta. I always have the pan warming up in the back as I make the recipe. The water should be as salty as a well-seasoned soup. For optimal results, you wanna use some linguine. Here's a cool trick. You see how they're beautifully bundled up like this? Give the whole mixture a nice little twist and then drop them into your water. They'll naturally funnel in and not stick. It's time to reintroduce that seasoned pan. I'm gonna do a light layer of avocado oil and then I'm gonna go in with about three fourths of that mixture. I wanna start cooking it through without burning it. This simply needs a pinch of salt for now. You might ask, when is my pasta done cooking? After six, seven minutes, I want you to actually try it. If you feel like it needs one to two more minutes, that's the perfect time to remove the pasta. That means when you add it to the sauce, it's gonna absorb all that flavor and it's gonna turn into a sponge and make your pasta that much better. This on the other hand, it's still hard. When the vegetables are slightly wilted through and it smells like experience in your kitchen, we go in with a generous amount of heavy cream. If his color don't change, no flavor was gained. This is a perfect opportunity to test for salt levels. And I personally like to add a little bit more Cajun and bring this to a light bubble. Go easy on the salt because we are gonna be grating some Parmesan cheese. Honestly, I don't even know how much to tell you to add. Just add enough until everything is nice, thick, and cohesive. It's time for our linguine to go in. Always, always, always save your pasta water. We're gonna feel it out, but we're gonna start with a little bit. When you cook pasta, it releases starch. That's why the water is murky. Starch is a thick agent which helps bring everything together. Honestly, this looks insane already. I don't know if you forgot about the chicken, but I definitely did not. They've cooled down and rested and I'm just gonna chop them up into bite-sized pieces. Eh, just like this. One last burst of oil. That last fourth of that blended vegetable. When they've lightly softened up and almost started caramelizing, I'm gonna add in that cut of chicken. Just a tiny bit of butter. Actually sensational. We need to finish with cilantro, which negates all those calories. And as we grate Parmesan cheese, we have final product. The final verdict, and as always, now bismillah. Oh my goodness. Seriously, it's not as heavy as you'd think. Every single bite is crazy. There is not one doubt you won't fall in love. 